Hi, this is Kai. Welcome to another video in our Particle Photon for Beginner series. So in this video, what we'll be doing is publishing an event to the cloud. Now, I myself had a pretty difficult time doing this, my first attempt. So we'll see if we can't make it a little easy for everyone. So I opened up Chrome, and I already have gone to the website particle.io. And this is how you get to the cloud uh, IDE. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, build, and I'm going to open that in a new tab. And just preemptively, I know that if I'm going to want to view my events, what I have to do is go to dashboard. And I'm going to stay here at logs. Now, since I don't have any devices publish, excuse me, publishing events, I'm not going to be able to see any events right here. So that sort of makes sense. So for now, I'll go ahead and close this particle IO page up and we'll stay here at the build. I'm going to come over here to code. We're going to remove this app. It's actually the app that we'll be creating. So we're going to create a new app and I want to call it uh, publish. Just We'll just call it publish. And I'll zoom in on the screen. And now we'll start the setup. So for this example, I have a PIR motion sensor attached to my particle photon device. But it's really not important. I'm just going to put it here to show you that this is what we're going to be publishing in our event. Whenever someone, um, excuse me, whenever the PIR motion sensor detects motion, I'm going to have it create an event and I'm going to be able to view that event. So I'll start by creating this variable called PIR sensor and I have attached it to D0 on my device and I don't need to do anything in the setup. Really what we're going to be focusing on here is what goes in on the loop part of this code and what I need to do is I need to get a digital reading of my PIR motion sensor so I'll do digital read and I'm gonna go ahead and just already close that digital read and what I'm reading is this PIR sensor right here and it's attached to D0 on the board but we don't have to reference D0 we can reference the variable that we named it so PIR sensor and if this read is equal to high or in other words if I'm able to detect motion then what I'm going to, excuse me, this is an if condition. Then what I want to do is I want to execute this code. So if that, then I'm going to execute this code. And what am I doing? Well, I'm going to use this uh, particle dot publish. Type it in exactly as I type it in like that. And I'll go ahead and close it. So what this is saying is if I see that there is motion, then I'm going to go ahead and publish this event to the cloud. And the event name that I'm going to give it is motion detected. And the data that I want to pass, you can pass a string back. And the data that I'm going to pass back is I'm going to say, hey, someone is in your room. Someone is in your room. Oh, man, they're not supposed to be, huh? And the next parameters that we can pass um, are the time to live and by default it's going to be 60 and whether or not we want this event to be public or private. For now I'll just create private and we can go ahead and verify. But I'm going to give some tips before we actually flash our device. We see that the code is verified and it's going to work but what I've noticed is if we don't have a delay right here of at least 1000 milliseconds or one second then this code is gonna just publish too many events so I'll zoom out and now I'm gonna go ahead and go to devices now we see that this device is connected and this is the device that I'm going to flash if I had two devices connected and both of these and it uh, showed me this little blue circle saying that the devices are connected. I can select this device right here to flash this one instead. But since 
this is the only one connected I'll go ahead and do that and I'll flash the device and flashing code and everything is good but I'm gonna show you on this other tab that we had open here how we can view the events so now my device has been flashed and I'm on this uh, the logs part of the dashboard.particle.io and I can see over here all of the events and now if I move my hand in front of this motion sensor, which I'm doing right now, we can see that we've published an event called motion detected with the data. Hey, someone is in your room. Now I'm going to go back to the code and we see the event name here is motion detected and the data that we're passing is, hey, someone is in your room. So just like that, we have published an event to the cloud congratulations and before we leave I'm just going to show you if you wanted to view these events in the terminal instead of viewing it here what you can do is just copy this curl command right here then we'll open up spotlight search type in terminal and then now I'll just pass in this curl command and there we go now we have a live reading from the terminal instead of using this site and again, if I go ahead and put my hand in front of the motion detector, we see the event, hey, motion detected. Well, like always, guys, thank you so much. Go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. In the future, we'll be showing you how to actually hook up a PIR motion sensor to your particle photon device.